bit of the gardens boys show you what we got this is called the Gwim I don't know how to pronounce that but it's a tempo rose it's perennial uh, 15th of the 11th 2022 looks like it was planted and I think that's what we we're supposed to be looking at I think anyway we got more there Banana daiquiri. A banana daiquiri. I don't know if it grows any bananas. I think you're gonna get bananas out of that. We've got criticotes. Some mai tai. I don't know what that's about. But there's a lot of these little gardens all around here. They're like everywhere bird over there. You'll bin chicken, look at them go. Watch your mansion lad. Settings that. It's clear now. 4K30 on Superview. We'll see what Superview looks like. So uh, you see a lot more like wider, but I feel like it's more of a fisheye effect on you. Sure. There's a bee, a bunch of bees around there. Hey. Oh. Statue of a dog. Oh. Little sign there if you guys wanted to read it. It says Huntsman and Dogs by Henry Alfred Marie Jacquemart. From 1826 to 1896, it was restored in 2001 through a gift of honour from Lady Bernice Mitchell. Apparently, she likes these gardens. Um, ah, I just got hit in the head by a bee. It just smacked me in the head. <laughs> Bees everywhere. This is something. I don't know if you can even see that flying. It's an app you can download. These are all like beds of where they're going to plant more and stuff. Some signs here. Shows you where to go and stuff we got. Opera house. With it. It's another bin chicken just right there. I don't know if you can see him. But he's right there just being a bin chicken. But that's where we are. Sydney's Botanical Gardens right near the water so i'm walking you around and then we'll get to the water side and then i'll show you guys all that work so you can sort of see what i'm walking against yeah. it's there. actually no it says i'm here there so i'll walk from here my building's up here. So my work building will be there and I just walked. And then I'm there. That's all I've got to do. Just walk. <laughs> it's like two minutes. Two minutes to get me there. Those are your legend. And then I'll give you guys a good look from the map from the bottom all the way to the top. And you can pause it in the video if you want to see any other areas. But this is where we're about to go. The leaf part. I actually haven't been down there, so it'd be cool. It's like an art gallery, Palm Grove Centre, shop, restaurant, cafe, Lion Gate Lodge, Palm House. And more signs up there. Like an auditorium thingy. Got people sitting there eating and stuff, having their breakfast. That glare's hectic. It's native jasmine, scrub poison tree. So there's like a little walkway path in there, you can go for a trek into the garden. There's Delinea over there. We've got a lolly bush. Some Brenia. We made like a little whale's tail with a bunch of stuff out of it. Take it for a walk in there. I don't know if I'm supposed to walk on the grass, but it's like a nice little whale's tail there and then the head heads over there. So it's like a whale coming out. Look, there's a sign there. Let's go, let's go read it. Read the sign. It says, 
love your nature plant love lives are all kinds or plant love lives okay well that's weird are all kinds of diverse plants use sexual and asexual methods to multiply they can involve other plants wind water fungi and even animals this is to celebrate the diversity of the garden i'll give you guys a front shot view because i think the front shot view would be pretty cool but that's what it looks like so you got the whale's head and it goes like the tail over there so it looks like it's coming out of the ground it's pretty cool pretty cool there's a big tree right here it's got a name we'll go find out what the name of this tree is it's the blackjack blackjack what an odd name for a tree oh look it's an echidna <laughs> an echidna that's so cute they dressed up a bunch of stuff to make it look like an echidna i love it it's a gift from gwen Gwen gifted that bench to the park. Well, it's pretty cool. So the park's got all these like little walkways and stuff. So when they have like all the other plants and things in here, you can go for a walk along these tracks all the way around and go and see the rest of the garden if you really want to. But it's really big. Like a, if I went through here, it would probably take me a couple of hours to go through the entire garden. It's a big spider living there. It would usually be near the end of the... Oh, he's probably living on the sign. Some more shops down there. More shops down there. More trees. More Australian native wildlife right there. Look at it. Look, look at that bin chicken. There's no bins here, boys. Like, like one down there, and there's two, three, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 11, 11 of them here. What are they? There's got lots of food here for them. And there's grass. Probably a lot of bugs and stuff coming through in this grass for them, so they're probably having themselves a good time. Uh, I should probably let you know what time it is. Uh, it's currently Tuesday. We are Tuesday, March the what? March the 5th at 12, 12 p.m. So, lunch time, sun is right above my head. Ah, oh, cool, it's like some benches. Look at that. Come down here and you can sit down on these, right there. Have yourself a seat there or there or there and you're under this cool tree. It's like a nice tree and there's another looking something over there anyway this is where we're walking to now you can see this water's edge is just up ahead go for a trek i'm like walking over all the grass not <laughs> everyone's walking the football up there's like a pond and stuff just over here i'll show you Bamboo. So it looks like a lot of kids have been graffitiing up the bamboos around here. Look at it. Look at it. They're quite big too. You go all around there. Like thick. It's thick. It's like the size of your hand. Look at this. Yeah, a bit big that is. For bamboo. It's massive. You can make yourself some rafts and a bunch of kids. Yeah, I just want to show you guys this because this is actually probably one of the better features of botanical gardens. I have no idea if it's even fishing here, but we'll show you. Look at that. Water is not the greatest. We can't even see through this water. It's pretty, pretty filthy. Some duck over there. That stretches like a little circular lagoon. And then there again, just the school kids over there going for a little, having a little excursion of some sort today. We'll walk around, we'll walk around the, the water, just because I feel like it's a good backdrop for what we're doing. And then we're going to go walk to that other water, just over there. I'll show you all what that's about. 
Now, see my volume levels is just like my normal way of talking right now. So if I need to up the volume and talk louder, like I'm shouting at you guys, then I'll probably have to do that. Because as you know, these, these the audio on GoPros are not the best and I don't use any flashy things. It's just me and my GoPro and that's it. There's no funny mic stuff or anything. So my core up in the I'm a car. Oh look at some ducks right here. Look at it. This one there. Couple over there. Here yeah, look is a sign for us. Water birds. You can pause it, have a look at it, but there it is. Nesting adults foraging for small fish in the harbour. It's like their breeding and roosting colonies can become smelly due to their fishy droppings. So. It's also ibis, that's what they were, the bin chickens, ibis. Uh, research being conducted in their behaviour and movements. So you can help by reporting their sightings with the wing tagged or colour banded birds. So, it's all of them chilling here. They'll go out hunting over there and then they'll come back over here. So it's like a, more of a safe haven for us, no predators. Look at him, he's having a good time. He's having a good time over there. I bought these sunnies, they're terrible. My usual one's broke, so I had to get a different one. People have weddings here. Yeah, so usual sunglasses broke, so I just went to some cheap shop and bought some for $15. They are not good at all. It's like it puts a, a weird white glare over it. I don't know if you can see, but if you if you put the sunny on. It's like a totally different. It's not really polarized. It's heavy. All the water down there. I don't know if any of you guys watch Rocket Kit, but he was camped out there like I think a week ago. Maybe a bit more, so it's kind of odd. I didn't see him. Probably like left earlier in the morning. So I remember when I watched his video, he was fishing up on like, so if you go out that way and go right all the way up to the mouth, that's where Rocket was. So I don't know how long he was in the water for before he left. But he's all like, I don't know if I should be camping in here on my boat. I don't know if you're allowed to because look, there's no one here that parks their boats here, so I don't know why. Uh, some fish right there. I don't know if you can even see that, but there's some fish right there. Oh, they were. There's some more over there. Right over there. I don't know if you can see them. Just follow all that debris in the water, they're right under it. They look like little long tongs. Could be little mullets or something. Pretty cool. It's more of the harbour, all the way out there. If you see, like, it's another ferry. Those ferries go around, show everyone all the cool stuff that's in the harbour. Got some water over there. So the duck pond thing I was going to show you is just over there, which I'll, I'll take you all through there when we go. Uh, some, I don't know what that's all is. We'll go for a walk there one day. We'll go find out what all that's about. Some more nice trees around here. Pine cone trees. And I don't even know if it's a pine cone tree. I'm just guessing at this point. I don't know my, my fauna and flora, okay? I probably should study, learn. See if there's any more fish around here. There's a bunch of little bait fish just over there. Not the cleanest water. Yeah, I don't think many people fish around here we'll keep the fish for that matter because the water is very polluted around here it's because of all the boats and stuff that come through it's always advised like especially like the shellfish around this area no never eat the shellfish. so 
it's like those shellfish have just absorbed all the chemicals and stuff from all those engines and the oil and all that gross thing so it's best uh, we don't venture onto that but uh, I might just do some videos, catch some fish just to show you, you know, there's some fish around and show you the front now so when we walk towards the duck pond some more of these nice trees, these are called Ficus macrophylla or macrophylla they're restricted to the Lord Ho Island most remarkable characteristics of this plant is its lack of a single main trunk instead it has 10 or more trunks each having arisen from an aerial root so if you look at it that's not one big trunk it's like a bunch they're all bunched together and you can see here that they're all and that's going up a bamboo stick see it's like it doesn't grow a singular trunk so it comes out like a root stem like this and then it'll shoot out roots and then those roots become the tree all the way up. It's crazy, right? There's more over here. And this is another cool tree here I'd like to show you. This is an actually an awesome tree. I don't know how it works, but she's massive. So that is her whole bottom here. She connects to this this one here that goes down onto the ground and up. But no, that way. <laughs> oh, you can build a sick tree house up in there actually even a good platform tree houses you know back in the day there's another big one there you see him he's a massive one so you can see it's not just like one thing it's like a big massive root system of trunks it's crazy but yeah this is the clear water I wanted to show you this thing I don't know why the other side's not like this the other side's very, how do you say, like dirty, dark brownish water. And then this water, look at this. You can see through it. You can see the bottom and all the moss and everything. It's like super clean. You could drink that water. Oh, look, it's a little guppy in there. I don't know if you can see it, but... I'll do that so you guys can see it a little bit better. Remarkably clean water. Now anyway, we're going to walk all the way back up that way now. So the camera is starting to overheat, but I'm actually thinking of taking you guys to the outdoor workout spot. I'll show you guys how all that looks and what kind of views you get from up there. So, whew, all right. All right, we're at the end now. We're gonna go back to the build. So thank you everyone for sticking around. If you like the video, you know what to do. Thumbs up, drop the subby button and share it around with your friends because everything helps and just remember this was a testing video so let me know how it looked and how everything goes and we'll get back to you thank you everyone we'll catch you next time